Hello there. Thanks for joining us on TVC Midday News. I am Mike Hokwache. We begin in Kaduna, where President Bola Tinubu has arrived. The Armed Forces Command and Staff College in Jaji, where he is the special guest of honor at the graduation ceremony of Senior Course 25 of the, uh, of the course. Uh, 291 senior military officers are set to graduate, and among them are 15 senior officers from allied countries, while 12 of the graduating students are from various ministries, departments, and agencies. The Armed Forces Command and Staff College is a joint service institution established to train tactical and operational level officers. Other special guests at the event include the Governor of Kaduna State, Senator Ubasani, the National Security Advisor, Nuhu Rabadu, and the Chief and the Service Chiefs. The National Economic Council has resolved to consider negotiating a new minimum wage for workers. The Economic Council also agreed on interventions to be introduced to cushion the impact of fuel subsidy removal. With this new development, state governments will play a significant role to ensure the poor and vulnerable in the society benefit from the palliative measures. TVC News State House correspondent Femi Akonde reports. Finally, there is a plan on how the federal government intends to cushion the immediate hardship caused by the removal of subsidy on petroleum products. But this time, the sub-nationals are expected to step up to the plate and drive the interventions that will give succor to the poor and vulnerable. At the end of the six-hour-long National Economic Council meeting, the governors reeled out the immediate, medium and long-term intervention plans. The states, each state, should begin to um, plan towards implementing um, a cash you know, transfer program that will be based on their social register of the states. We also talked about uh, ensuring that we paid our public servants outstanding liabilities, whichever way, if it's their pension, if it's their gratuities, uh, if it's their leave bonuses, and so on and so forth. There is a magnitude to which you're pumping money into the system, and then inflation even gets higher. Exchange rate depreciates the more, and the more the exchange rate depreciates, the more there will be pressure for pump price of oil to also rise. So, council is fully aware of all this. We're juggling many balls in the air. The federal government is also responding to all threats to food security and the need to push down rising food prices. At the National Economic Council, they directed the release of food stuff from the National Grain Reserve to poor households already groaning from the spike in food prices. NEMA, with the CBN, and indeed with the Minister of Agri, and uh, we have some buffer stock that is already there with NEMA, and the uh, council has directed the states will be allocated immediately substantial portion of food items, grains, and so on and so forth for distribution so that the prices of food stock will come down. But on the brighter side, the National Economic Council was pleased with the news of an increase in revenue generated by the Federal Inland Revenue Service. It was nice to know that they are ahead of their target for half year. And we expect that before or by the time the year ends, they would exceed. He also gave us some idea of what next year should be like. Now the three tiers of government will share the burden to cushion the impact of fuel subsidy removal. They must also work in time and establish a social register that is truly reflective of the poor and vulnerable. Femi Akonde, TVC News, Abuja. To the courts now, former Minister of Aviation Stella Odua has pleaded not guilty to a 25-count charge of money laundering. Mr. Odua was arraigned by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission before the Federal High Court in Abuja. After taking plea, Justice uh, Inyang Ekwo ordered that the Attorney General take over the matter and that the EFCC should transfer the case file to the AGF in two weeks. While upholding the existing administrative bill conditions granted her by the EFCC, the court ordered that the terms of conditions also be made available to the uh, AGF. The court adjourned to 17th of October for trial.